Happy Wednesday, everybody. So here it is. What do you think you're doing supporting toxic beliefs? Look at when we came down here, our creator said, whatever you think about, talk about the most, I will give you more. Why are you supporting people that have toxic beliefs? Let me tell you something right now. Okay. Why are you supporting people with toxic beliefs? Okay. Okay. Now toxic beliefs, toxic relationships. This is what it's all about. Where do you have toxic relationships in your life? Do you have a toxic relationship with your TV? Do you have a toxic relationship with your children or maybe just one of your children? Do you have a toxic relationship with your spouse? And then you might want to ask yourself, do you have a toxic relationship with those people in the world that think that they know better than you? Do you have a toxic relationship with them? Let me tell you something. If you were buying this BS with Bill Gates and Fochi and all the most of the mayors and government people and corporations in the world, then you have a toxic relationship. And I'll tell you something, you're running a hate relationship with yourself. There's only hate and love. There's only hate and love on this planet. And love is a self-serve job. So either you're really hating on yourself or you're learning to love yourself. And when we get here, we're taught that love is very selfish and self-centered. Well, let me tell you something. The people that I know that truly love and care for themselves, care for the planet. You can't give what you're not. So understand something. Why are you supporting toxic relationships? Why are you supporting toxic beliefs? Well, because you don't even know better. You don't know better until you know better. And understand something, from zero to seven, this is when you got all your beliefs from mommy and daddy and all the systems. And God love your mother and father. But you know as well as I do, whether you say this or not. Remember how we used to say, I don't want to be my, like my father. I don't want to be like my mother. But you are. You are. Oh, yes, you're your individual self. But what you don't understand is that the subconscious and 90% of your brain. And it stores your prominent beliefs. And your prominent beliefs are giving you grief. 95% of the population right now, okay, all right, have toxic relationships. I don't believe, and I don't listen to Bill Gates. I hear enough of it. Fauci, I don't believe or support anything that doesn't support thriving, doesn't support total love, total care, nature, our God, our creator. I'm not buying into this. And because the 95% of the population, okay, supports toxic beliefs and toxic relationships, we're pushing the planet off the cliff. So here's the deal. If you have toxic beliefs, it's like this, or you have not toxic beliefs, but ones that support life and creation. Remember something, whatever you feed only gets bigger. So what toxic beliefs do you have right now? I'm, I'm really serious. You think about that. What toxic beliefs do you have right now? Those toxic beliefs, the more you feed them, they eventually become a monster and they feed on you. And they become actually an entity. Hey, have you ever told somebody, hey, you're not yourself? Or somebody says, I don't feel like myself? Well, guess what? You cannot cozy up with the devil. You cannot cozy up with negative beliefs that cause your adrenaline, your histamine and cortisol to dump throughout your body. Because let me tell you something, the invisible becomes the physical. Your toxic beliefs make a toxic body which make dis-ease in your life. I'll have no part of this, I already told you, okay? I don't believe in our government. I don't believe in anybody's government because guess what? You can't have a good government unless they're in there and they understand about self-love and self-care. So until your government is creating empowering beliefs and giving back the power to everybody on an individual basis and saying, here's the fishing pole for you to go out and fish. Here's the shovel for you to make your own garden. Here's the rules of the universe, which is total self-love. We were, we were created in total love that which created the whole universe totally loves us 
And you know what? I, I'm okay with this. You can buy into the BS of that which created the universe is always looking down on us. He's, he's got a gray beard. He needs to be on Prozac and he needs a straight jacket because, and it's also a he, which I don't really believe either, but that it's always judging us and that we're either going to go to heaven and hell. No, heaven and hell is right here. And if you are supporting toxic beliefs, trust me, your life is hell. 95% of the population live in hell and understand something. Look at this. There's no hell out there. You can find paradise wherever you want. And you can find paradise in your mind right now, but your mind is a landmine. So let me say something. Whether it's your husband or your wife, why are you supporting that toxic relationship? Your children, why are you supporting that if they come home and they're on drugs? You don't need to feel bad about that. You need to hold a loving line. If your husband is abusive and aggressive, which most men are, you know, I was raised abusive and aggressive. So were my brothers. And almost every male I ever see is either abusive and aggressive or they've had the living crap kicked out of them and they can't find their spirit. So what we do is, is we raise these males to go out and go to war with the world. This is why women, they don't have so much toxic beliefs and toxic relationships because they work more from their heart. So understand something. The best thing that you're ever going to do for yourself today is say to this, do I have a toxic relationship with my TV? Do I have a toxic relationship with the government? Do I have a toxic relationship? And do I get my news from some person that is totally toxic, demented? Yeah, you do. 95% of you are buying into this bull. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I will never surrender. I will hold the line. And I will take a look every day and say, do I have a toxic relationship with myself? Do I have a toxic relationship with my family and with society? Do I even hate Bill Gates that most people hate and say, kill Bill? No, but I do want to see justice. And the only way we're going to have that, you know, if we totally ignored, if we totally ignored every toxic belief and every toxic person, they would shut up and go away and they'd go away and maybe think about it. But because you're so focused on Bill Gates, you're so focused on vaccination, you're so focused on the war, we'll never have peace of mind. So t think about it one more time. What are the toxic relationships you have? Is it with alcohol? Is it with drugs? Is it with your wife? Is it with your children? Is it with your neighbor? When we get rid of all the toxic relationships inside of ourselves, and the most toxic relationship you're ever going to have is with yourself because you don't believe you're good enough or you uh, were, were uh, raised in a system of guilt, right? You're a little sinner. You're a little sinner. I don't believe in this sinning crap. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. If you knew my history when I was raised, my father was a part-time pastor. He was a carpenter. My mother became an alcoholic. My father could never tell me that he loved me. You know, I could just go and, and just make everybody responsible for such a crappy life that I could have had unless I take responsibility for my own life. So understand something. I don't believe in sinners. I believe that people have toxic beliefs and they can even be dangerous. I believe that if we make people into sinners, then we put them into judgment jail. All right? I don't believe in any of that. I believe man made that up because I already told you that man was raised aggressive and abusive and sometimes violent. Like you didn't notice that? Okay? Well, we have no problem going to war and getting our legs shut off and then coming home and then not getting the respect because we thought we had to go and uh, go to war with people outside our country, people within our country, but the war always starts within our mind and it's a landmine. So I'm gonna tell you, if you were to get rid of every toxic relationship that you ever had, that means you'd have to go into your mind to get rid of that toxic belief. The world would change and Bill Gates can go and take his money and go into a room and count it and buy himself another nice little sweater, okay? It's amazing how some guy can actually go on there and say, we're going to vaccinate the whole world and it'll never come back to normal until you do that. And then he goes and he laughs at the end of it. And then you get all scared. Come on. That's just a, a toxic little child, okay, that has too much money. I love you. You have a really beautiful day. And I mean, I truly do love you. And you deserve the best. But you're not going to have that until you only have the best beliefs within your mind. God bless you, okay? 
and God bless this beautiful country, but this country will not be blessed until you bless yourself first. Have a beautiful day.